Hello everyone, and welcome back to our adventures here in Redwood Red Wolf National Park, where we are admiring our beautiful bison! And you guys, you guys, I am back! I am back from our trip to Yellowstone in real life and visiting my parents. We were gone for a month, which was kind of amazing, but even more amazing than that is how in love I am with these bison i saw them i saw them in person up close way really 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 up close because sure enough we ended up going to yellowstone and getting ourselves in a bison traffic jam and that was actually one of my absolute favorite parts of the trip and one of my absolute favorite moments that i have ever had in life and i am so much more of a fan of these big beautiful bison now oh my goodness we had a whole bunch of them just like walk straight up to us they we were the lead car too and we went around a corner after we had been searching for wolves in lamar valley which was just i couldn't believe i was really there i kept looking around thinking like oh my gosh this is the place like wolf quest is based off and we're just like here at lamar valley it was very 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 exciting uh, and while we were coming back from looking for wolves, we just turned a corner around a bunch of pine trees and suddenly bison, bison everywhere. A whole herd of them with a big giant lead male and there were calves walking with their mothers and I fell so hard in love with these guys. Oh my goodness. So yes, it was a great trip. It was a fantastic trip. I absolutely learned so much more about what you can expect about Yellowstone. The answer is none of these little bushes should be here. These little nice bushes. It was all just really low-lying bushes, grass, a whole bunch of tumbling rocks, and a bunch of pine trees these kinds of skinny little pine trees these things right here just everywhere except much shorter and smaller and tiny and they like hug the ground and i was taller than most of them because apparently forest fires are actually a pretty regular occurrence in yellowstone we had a friend with us who really like explained a lot of that oh what's this over here oh i forgot we had a bunch of eggs that's right i found a whole bunch of eggs and i was going to put it over in like the goose area speaking of our geese how are they doing I saw a lot of Canadian geese. Unfortunately, I didn't really see like a lot of other birds. There was a trumpeter swan and we did see, uh, which was very exciting. We couldn't stop for it because it wasn't in an area you could really get out of your car. Uh, it was just chilling next to like a geyser blessed little lake. I hope that it was nice and toasty warm. <gasps> Look at the little nest. Oh my gosh, that is such a cute little detail. But it was so wonderful you guys it reminded me of just how majestic and amazing the world can be to finally get out of my home for the first time truly since since everything happened so for the first time in two years i was able to like leave my house and go see something that was truly a beautiful wild part of the world that i had never seen before and i needed that I needed that so, so much, and I am so excited to come back and try to bring some of the beauty and just the majesty of what I saw to life here in our beautiful park. So before we go ahead and get started, today I really want to try to add in pronghorn. I don't know if we're going to be able to, uh, you know, like have enough time to be able to add them in, but first things first, let's go ahead and move this nest site way out of the way so we're gonna yoink you up here we're gonna plunk it down there that's our secret path that we'll have to like work on in the future uh and then we're going to oh we're gonna make this place i want to make it sparkle i want to make it shine i want to make it pop with some of the wonders of of the natural world that really make people go like ah oh, yes this is why i should reduce reuse and recycle this is why we should fund our national parks and this is why we should fund the future with hope and curiosity and and that means this is why you guys shouldn't be littering. What the heck? Okay, we have a few problems to take care of before we try to expand. And uh, I should probably write these down and like make a little goal. I want to put a fox in here because we actually saw a fox uh, that was skulking about in our campsite. It was really, really cool. Uh, so having a little fox like hiding in this forest that people could see as they walk through here is a goal. And elk! There were elk everywhere. We went during elk breeding season and 
and oh boy, did they ever let us know it with all of the bugling they were doing. And I might actually get rid, believe it or not, of a lot of these giant red cedars just here and there and clear them out because a lot of what Yellowstone actually is, is a lot of low-lying cedars. But this is the Redwood National Park based off of our Redwood Red Wolf National Park and zoo crafting. So uh, keeping these like red cedars in here and pretending they're redwoods definitely par for the course. <gasps> oh, with redwoods, I wonder if the new pack, I am so excited about the new Planet Zoo pack. I wonder if that new pack is actually going to include some redwoods. It's gonna include beavers. And we saw like beaver dams. We didn't actually see beavers, but we did see some beaver dams while we were out and about. And oh my goodness, I, I really am so excited. Oh, oh, this is going to be so fun. I can't wait for the new update. I'm also very excited about that too. And I want to breed up a herd of some of the most beautiful, healthy bison we've ever had. Oh, so many goals. Uh, but first things first, I don't want people making an absolute chaotic mess out of what should be a place of awe and inspiration. Uh, and the aquatic bins actually have a lot of a Yellowstone look to them, if you ask me. So let's go ahead and plunk down a few of these. Um, yeah, this should do. Maybe just a couple at this entrance. And then while people are walking through the woods, hmm, we'll go ahead and give them, I kind of like this just like Arctic bin because it's just, it's just a chunk of wood and that'll do, that'll do all right. All right, we'll put that down. Hopefully people will use this so we won't have like too many litterers. Um, and then let's put down, oh, I have the new patron list. Thank you guys so much. Our patrons make all of our adventures possible. And now that it is October, I am like recording this fresh. It feels so good. And that means we have a brand new refreshed patron list, which will allow some of our previous patrons to have another chance to roam our zoo. And we'll also let some of the new people in. So let's go ahead and we're gonna have, how about we have a fox tracker? Yeah, we're going to have Fox Tracker. And I'll randomize the list real quick. So it's going to be Fox Tracker. Heather! There we go. And she's already fully trained because apparently here in our wonderful Redwood Red Wolf National Park, we only go ahead and hire the best. So I'm going to actually have her work around the Fantasy Cottage. So she's going to be in charge of kind of staying around the fantasy cottage zone. So hopefully that'll help us out. Oh, I really want to add in that fox now. I think I actually did download a amazing mod that should give us a fox species, a red fox. There's the red wolf. Yeah, look, 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 red fox. Oh my gosh. And if I come over here, oh, look at the red fox. Oh my gosh, I really want to add them in now. Oh my goodness. And miss, no, don't breed with your dad. There we go. All right. Oh gosh, I'm really tickled actually. Okay, I do want to add in the foxes, but let's see what problems we're having with any animals. Oh, it's the bisons. So the bisons are kind of complaining because we have a dangerous imbalance on the, the ratio between the males. So I think what we'll do is we will remove the male who is fighting and we'll actually put them to like the, the less quality male, the one who's not as strong as the others. We will actually pick up and we will move because what was really common for us to see was a herd, some of the herds were huge, like a few hundred buffalo all together in one place, but there were a lot of loner males. I never saw a loner female buffalo uh anywhere like if you saw a buffalo by itself it was always one of the males so i think we'll go ahead and make like whenever they they fight too much if it's a fairly high quality male what we might do is we'll move him over to like a new area and see if he's related to any of the like straight the spare females and we'll move them as well we'll break off little mini herds so dragon is our tw like 22 year old adult alpha well alpha it's just like a phrase oh here they go again dragon and tyler are fighting and tyler is actually stronger and much younger how long do the bison stick around for let's find out so bison live up to 25 years what oh my gosh have we done our research on them they're fighting right now which actually would be yeah we have full research on them i think Oh, look at him go. 
Oh, but Dragon still won! He is not going to let anybody keep him down. What the heck? Okay, so Dragon actually did win. He has had 10 fights, but no injuries. A couple infections. That was probably from Dirty Water. And he has four offspring. Meanwhile, 10 fights with Tyler. I can't tell if that actually increases their appeal or not. But since Tyler lost, we can go ahead, and most of these females are related to him anyway. Um, we'll go ahead and make him a separate little spot. And I mean, the bison would just literally be on the side of the road. And they were they would just be like right where the geysers were. We tried to walk around the geysers at Old Faithful. There's a boardwalk so you could see all of these beautiful geysers, which we will definitely be recreating in this zoo as well. But I could not see the, the geysers. We only got to see Old Faithful and a couple of the others because there were two male bison who were just standing smack dab in the middle of the path eating grass right off the edge and other people were edging around them which you're not supposed to do but we weren't gonna do that because we wanted to live <laughs> so let's see I think what we'll do here I kind of want to make a path I want to make a spot that like really mimics how it felt just to suddenly have a bison next to you so I'm gonna put let's make this really small and then what I want to do is well, I guess I gotta make it a little bigger to be more intense. Let's make a really small little spot. I can't wait for the update because the terrain tools are gonna get like completely remodeled with this big update that's coming. That is going to coincide with the release of the North American pack. Yes. Oh, it's gonna be so cool, you guys. I can't wait. Prairie dogs and moose. Apparently there was a grizzly bear uh, where we were at in Yellowstone who was feeding on a moose carcass, but we didn't go anywhere near there because we wanted to live. All right, let's see. Maybe I need to increase the intensity. That's more like it. There we go. So I'm going to make like a little ditch and then we'll smooth the ditch out somewhat. But finding random ditches and like geysers even was kind of the norm where we were at. So my thought is we'll just kind of break away like a piece of the ground here, make it kind of rocky. And then the bison won't be able to like, it, it's one of those natural moats. The bison won't be able to get out, but at least I hope it won't be able to get out. Let's make, let's deepen this a little bit more, but it'll be a great place to put like our lone male until we figure out what we're going to do with him. Because he's a really healthy bison, so maybe we'll add in a, a, one or two females. And we can see how- Oh, we could just watch and see how Tyler's herd like naturally grows over time. I love that idea. Alright, let's get a little bit of rock in here. One of the things I would really love if they would add- And I need to smooth out this edge, actually. But not so smooth that like they can walk across it. One of the things I would love if they would add is if you could make like different colored rocks and different colored grass with terrain tools. Because that would make life a lot easier. And the rock was actually like fairly like yellow. Like I'm trying to mimic the color at Yellowstone, but I think the smooth rock is the closest we can come. It wasn't yellow though. I thought the rock like, come on, it's Yellowstone. So I was looking pretty hard at that rock going, are you yellow? But no, the rock to me, at least, wasn't really very yellow. Instead, it, there were a huge variety of colors of the rock face. And Chips and I decided we must be getting old if we were going to spend so much of our vacation <laughs> talking about rocks. But how many times have we been playing Planet Zoo, guys? And I have told you all, like, there's something just meditative about the rocks here in Planet Zoo. Like, you just end up talking a lot about rocks and playing around with rocks. Um, oh, and speaking of the new update, it's going to make it so that you have auto rotation on rocks and plants, which I am so here for. That's going to be so nice. All right, we'll kind of put this in here. There we go. But yeah, the rocks were not very yellow to me. Uh, however, there were a lot of rocks that were really, really red. Um, we did see red rocks, and that's apparently from where the lava from that super cal caldera erupting, the super volcano erupting 500,000 years ago, passed over a bunch of rock and left it stained red. Um, but you could, I mean, if we could have more colors for terrain tools, just think about how much more we'd be able to do. Gosh, it'd be really exciting. Maybe we can put like a cute little 
Ooh, maybe we could put one of the little, like, uh, animal talking points over here. And in the new update, you're going to have little benches that you can put down to attract people with uh, the animal talking points. So people can sit down and, like, have a proper little conversation. I'm very, very tickled. It was so exciting. We were actually getting on the plane back from Yellowstone when I was checking my emails and everything. And then I realized there was a new planet zoo coming out covering a lot of the animals that we had literally just spent like a couple weeks looking at, which was really fun. All right, so let's get a barrier in here and let's move Tyler out. And you know what? Maybe we'll celebrate because I really did love seeing the bison. We'll get maybe we'll get like some little patches in here that could have like we could put a little geyser on the edge. I love it. Um, and we'll get some water down there too. All right, let's put this a little, a little smaller, a little smaller. There we go. And then should I just block the back with rock? Maybe, but we'll do we'll do wood fencing for now just so I know where we're going because I think I made this much bigger than I intended to. Tyler's gonna have like a good place to start a herd of his own if he wants. Um, and then we'll go ahead shrink this down just a little and I guess we'll make some glass? Hmm or no I'm just gonna well how short of a fence can you make with a bison without getting kind of risky? We'll find out. All right how, how short can a bison fence be? Oh wait, I can put windows in this. All right, that's good to know. Okay, let's get some nice windows in here, please. Yes, yes. Let's do some glass windows. Oh, fine. I love it. This is already keeping people infinitely safer than they kept themselves when we were at Yellowstone. When we, you know, when you hear about all of the animals like attacking uh, people at Yellowstone or people getting hurt by the bison and things like that, you get kind of scared because you're like, wow, okay, they really, really, oh, the red wolf is about to mature, yay. They really like let the animals be wild here. I'm gonna need to be really careful. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you just stay in your freaking car. <laughs> oh, see this desert rock is a good color for like mimicking the Yellowstone stuff. If you will just stay in your car when there is a herd of bison, like, literally next to you, you will be infinitely safer and more prepared for being around that wildlife than half the people we saw. I can't tell you the number of times, like, there would just suddenly be 20 cars stopped and you're going, what's going on? And you look over and there's a black bear with her cubs and people with their tiny little white dogs getting out of the car. So that they can go, like, holding their dogs under, like, one arm so that they can go try to get a picture of the black bear mom who's, like, booking it with her cubs. Don't do that. If you avoid doing those things, you are already smarter and safer than the, like, average person in Yellowstone. And you will probably be just fine. Just, like, follow the safety guidelines and, and like, travel in groups when you go into the backcountry for hiking. We did find a lot of bear scat and a lot of bear um, evidence at one of the spots we had gone hiking. <gasps> I need to add grizzly bears! Yes! Uh, and we saw a mama black bear with her cubs. I can't wait to make a video to show you guys all these cool things that we saw. But if you guys just follow those basic safety things, I swear to you, you will probably be like perfectly fine. Because so many other people just no, they weren't even they weren't even trying. It was ridiculous. All right, so we're gonna put a spot right here for our zookeeper to get in, and then it's gonna be dirt path or maybe a log path. Eh, let's go with like a nice neutral dirt path because I want I want everybody to kind of feel like they're still in the wild. Here we go. That's gonna be for there we go our keepers, and then we're gonna need like a little cabin for them. So they can make some food. Hmm, do I already have a spot for food? I don't have a spot for food. So maybe a bigger one would be good. How am I gonna drag the guests all over? I don't wanna drag them like right up against this stuff. Oh. <sighs> all right, staff facilities. Oh, I'm so happy to be back. I'm so happy to be with all of you again. This is wonderful. And then let's see. All right, Tyler, we're going to get Tyler the Bice in his zone. And I think keeping the New World theme is nice. Um, so sometimes, you know what, the guests are just going to have to accept you got to get out of the way 
for all of the keepers to have their space too. Because this will be great for the keepers who are going to be taking care of our red fox, who I absolutely want to add in next time. All right. Oh, speaking of animal research, nobody is researching. Looks like we need to do double research. Nobody is researching this chunk for the red wolves, so we're going to do that. And bald eagle researcher, I'm going to have you on the Canadian geese. Wait. Yes, Canadian goose. All right. I think... I wonder why that one didn't work. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. It's modded animals. Uh, all right, there we go. So this should be good for Tyler. Let's give him his work zone spot. And then let's move him so that he doesn't fight and we'll give him some lovely ladies to hang out with. Give me just a moment while I remember how to work work zones. There we go. But it was special, guys. It was really, really special and I'm deeply, profoundly grateful that Chips and I had the opportunity to go ahead. I'm gonna move Tyler over here. That Chips and I had the opportunity to travel to Yellowstone and to see all of the all of the animals in person, um, a whole bunch of them. And it was, it was, you had to really work at it. And I loved that. You had to go to where they were because it was wild land. Let's see. And that was very, very, very special. I'm deeply grateful for that all right let's grab these paths and then we're gonna make it so people can go ahead and enjoy looking at quite a, a variety of animals over here because we're gonna have our lovely bison let's see here we go and then they're gonna come up here and complain so this is gonna be staff only path right here Oh, my lovely little, oh, no, why, oh, there we go. All right, so that's going to be staff only path, but then we'll make like a little talking, animal talking point over here that we can, what? Oh, are we out of chip? No, we've run out of chipmunks. Oh, that can't be so. We're going to have to fix that. Oh, Tyler, Tyler's here, you guys. He's going to have his own spot. He's going to be kind of lonely. So let's immediately try to find him some lovely ladies. Let's see. Not African buffalo. We actually need to go ahead and have not a red fox, but we need our beautiful bison. What's he in here under? Not African buffalo. There it is, American bison. All right, so we'll get him. Zarina and Binu, light brown shaggy coats. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys the pictures that we have of everybody. And it's not much of a herd to like start with, but hopefully, hopefully they'll be happy and healthy. Oh, and we're gonna need somebody to take care of them. All right, so let's go ahead and get in a, another one of our wonderful patrons. And today we are going to be hiring none other than Alexa. So we're gonna actually have Alexa be um, bison, hmm, tracker, Alexa, there we go. Because believe it or not, like the the most often that we ever saw uh, park rangers was when they were trying to just keep people from like petting the bison. It, it was it was quite dramatic. It was it was somewhat of an ordeal. But all right, so let now that we have some wonderful patrons with Heather and Alexa, thank you guys so much for keeping all of our adventures possible. I'm gonna go ahead and mark them down in our little Patreon list. And you know what we need now? Names! We need to go ahead and name these two lovely bison that are coming on in. So, one is actually going to be, let me pull up the random comment generator from our last video. Oh, and this is going to be Wolfie! Wolfie, your family's planning a visit to Yellowstone as well? That is so exciting! And Wolfie, I need to actually see like what number bison we're on. Huh. Alright, give me a second. And then the other one is going to be, oh, hey, BioExplorer, it's so good to see you. And BioExplorer is actually a real life biology educator, which is so exciting. And you say, I taught earth sciences at one time and we had a great time learning about super volcanoes, such as the one at Yellowstone. When these supermassive volcanoes erupt, they can cause changes in climate and the extinction of some species. The freaky part is that it will erupt again one day, but hopefully not for thousands of years. And yes, basically super volcanoes 
those are world ending events. I have my theory that maybe a super volcano could potentially went off in the Away series with the brand new freaking adorable little sugar gliders. If you guys want to see some cute sugar gliders, check out that series. And Bio Explorer, oh my gosh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and name you. Let's do, um, how about we do Explorer? That's such a fun name for a bison, isn't it? And then let me see if I can figure out which bison I never. Oh! <gasps> Did I never properly name or number the bison? Oh no! Well, you know what? <laughs> we'll, we'll start now. We'll just go down the list. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Three. Wolfie's gonna be number four. Ha! This is an easy way to do it if we haven't updated anything yet. Six. Tala, I don't think I've renamed Tala and Lulu, but that's okay. We're going to have more baby bison. Oh, and Tanner definitely doesn't have a name. All right, we'll, we'll rename those guys real quick because we're back. And I'm so excited to see you. And Olivia, yes, Olivia. Here, we're going to rename Chloe to Olivia. I am very excited about that new, very, oh, just the beavers. The beavers are what I wanted the most. The new, um, the new pack coming out for Planet Zoo, like on Monday. I'm so tickled. And then also Zen. Oh, name a fox, Zen. Oh my gosh. Okay. So Dr. Norani, I'm going to go ahead and put in your name for our beautiful female buffalo. Uh, but a, a fox named Zen sounds amazing too. And then we're going to have Parakeet. Oh my gosh. What a cute name from Parakeet World. And then finally, we're going to have Peyton. There we go. Oh, wait, I have one more after this. Ah, hang on. Peyton. Oh, yay, you guys are here as my little bison herd. I'm very excited about that. And then finally, our little boy down here is going to be renamed to Rones after Mariana Rones. And congratulations on getting Planet Zoo on your birthday, Mariana. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. But all right, guys, we're back. We are back and we are really getting things looking a little bit more like the trip I just went on by adding in bison just kind of everywhere. We need to continue to spruce up their spot and make sure that they have water to drink, to make sure that they have like little educational spots and to make sure that people aren't absolute nim nuts and decide they're gonna try to go ahead and like, pet these guys. Do not pet the bison. That's like one of the most important lessons I learned. <laughs> but all right, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for Tyler and his magnificent beginnings of a new herd. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.